welcome justin and Corey here uh tech tuesday we're changing it up a little bit moving forward so to help us focus on bringing more high impact high value content for you uh on a regular basis we're going to be taking some of the highlights from the weekly content that we're doing specifically the friday live calls so make sure to hop on the live calls uh we're not sharing the full recordings we are going to share little snippets and uh it's going to be stuff like what we're covering today so uh oco orders is something that you know we've used for a long time on binance uh oco for those that aren't familiar one cancels the other um is a way to set up a sell limit order or a stop loss and well and or a stop loss at the same time uh so super useful with day trade masters where we're using it to take profits and protect our wealth if the markets drop out but there is another way to use it that not a whole lot of people have explored so i do have something to share with you today justin anything before we dive in dive in get into it <laughs> no i'm excited for this one um i think it's just a super powerful strategy especially when when you're using day trades and 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 things like that finding those those optimal entries catching wicks and it's just a powerful strategy so excited to watch you do your thing man so getting in here um for those that are familiar with some of the tools indicators that we use at the ultimate trading course we've just got some momentum indicators in here so if it's a little bit above you know what you've done so far don't worry it'll make sense uh here as i get into it basically these are momentum oscillators uh we're tracking momentum as the market's bottom and then we're able to position uh hopefully profitably uh if we do manage to hit that right so i do have a trade here that uh made us some good profits here but this is a strategy that uh i was asked about and it works quite well uh so typically this in this implementation you know we're waiting for entry here uh sometimes they do pop off so we get a candle um hit up here so we're like okay crap we hit tp1 you know am i going to be able to get my entry in or is this thing going to take off on us and continue to higher levels? So that's where you can use the buy OCO order. So you set a stop loss, basically. So if this thing breaks above, this candle closes. Uh, once this candle closes, you can set it above or you just be cautious, right? Setting it right now. If it does take off, if it does take off, then it'll buy in. Let's say 4.205 is going to be your stop. And then your limit can be 4.23, for instance. So it's similar to a stop loss where you're setting your stop for, you know, 3.887 in this instance uh, to a limit of 3. 0.847 so it's on the flip side it's on the buy side so if it breaks out higher it's going to enter you in of course be cautious with this if it does buy you in on a spike and then retraces you got to be a little bit you know careful but uh it can be super powerful where you are also able to set your buy or your limit order for entry so this is where you can set it forget it you know partial position whatever and uh just ride it out so this is where you know it might have depending on our entry i think we said 4.205 justin yep 4.205 okay so we didn't quite hit that we our buffer was good so we're still waiting out of the market um breaks down So that might have just wicked us. Yeah, 4.209. That would have wicked us in. Um, we also have a potential where we could enter on stop or on entry. So we'll see. We're in the market here, 3.98%. We can obviously, you know, get a partial position in and then buy more on entry as well. If that does fail, um, gets you a little bit better average. And then this thing takes off so tp4 right there uh 15.94 percent so um kind of a cool tool to be able to get into the market and you know try and get a better price but if it does take off at least you're in the market you know uh you're entering at basically tp1 a little bit higher there we got wicked in 
but we can sell for at least 10% more. So 10% is a good day for me. Uh, whereas we also had the potential to enter on uh, entry after it did break up above, uh, much higher above our entry into TP1. So it came back, you know, just licked that uh, entry level and then moved off. So um, having multiple strategies for how to enter the market can be a benefit. You know, it is nice to get that perfect entry, but if you completely miss the trade because of it, then, you know, especially when it's, three and a half percent for TP1, you know. Is it worth it in the long run? We'll see. Not every trade setup is the same, you know. Uh, past performance does not guarantee future results, but this is a super cool one that I like to use here as well. So uh, paired with Fibonacci levels, this is super powerful. So again, you know, ultimate trading course, definitely good to cover a lot of that stuff, but um, yeah, play with it. It's uh, you can backtest. This is a tool that uh, we use just on the rewind tools. So um, you can see Cake since then has had quite the ride up. We hit all our TP levels and uh, now it's coming back down. So get another chance for those that are following. Uh, Cake is also one of our DeFi picks. So uh, make sure to hop on our Friday calls for DeFi picks, more strategy and uh, Pretty much anything that comes up during the week that people are asking too. So really good information. But anything on your end, Justin? No, that's I, I love having. You know, we always talk about building support at entry before jumping in, and some of these coins just, you know, they'll tickle entry in one candle, the next candle they take off. So there's not a chance for people. That's a very safe method to enter. And then having this OCO strategy for entering, you know, and, and catching it on the way back up, or if it does retrace and come back down, I think just more tools, more resources, more strategies. Again, the market and all coins are going to differ depending on the time and, and what's going on. So the more we have and the more information and tools and resources we have at our disposal and different strategies like this, we can really take just that much more advantage as some of these day trade setups and things like that. So no, that was Absolutely. beautifully done, man. The You want to be prepared for every situation, right? Sometimes we've got extension waves, you know, getting into some of the Elliott wave stuff that Marius is talking about right now, um, which actually, depending when you're watching this video, is perfectly timed for him. He was talking about a drop in the markets. Um, hit the markets a little harder than expected, I think, maybe, but that's typically the case, right? So... We took our profits. We made profit ahead of time. Had a beautiful week. Um, last week was probably, if not a record setting week, uh, it was darn close. So uh, we'll be sharing more on that later this week. But uh, for now, um, yeah, hope you found value in this video. Uh, if not, let us know in the comments. We always like those too. Uh, keep us on our toes. We want to keep you uh, on the bleeding edge. So covering cutting edge content all the time, every single week, same time, same place, and uh, always evolving with the space. You know, that's, we want to keep things as advanced as possible while uh, making it easy to digest for our newer members as well. So um, that's it for me this week. Justin, anything you want to close with? I just really want to stress the power of some of these AUAs and, and really just immersing yourself and surrounding yourself with information and training and content like that. I, I think it's just so important as we continue to evolve with this ever evolving industry that we really stay on top of the education and the trainings. And, you know, again, just put that in your realm and eventually things just start clicking, especially if you're just starting off in crypto, you know, you get the starter pack, you get free content, AUAs. I mean, Bitcoin TAF is really there to give you that, that hand up and, and make sure that you have the, one of the easiest rides into crypto and, and learning some of these strategies possible. So really want to stress that. Hope to see you there. Really do. Have a great one. See you soon. Take care.